Hi guys, this will be a tutorial on how to do realistic snow for sculptures. Sorry I've been away for a while, but school has been really getting in the road and it will still be in the road, so I don't think I'll be able to make many videos until the end of this year as this is my final year of schooling. But anyway, this is how to make snow, so here we go. Okay, to make snow, first of all, you obviously need the sculpture to make snow for. Now this is a polymer clay sculpture using Super Sculpey for the skin, wire armature, just this is a crappy cardboard used for the base, long story but basically that wasn't supposed to happen, doesn't matter though, irrelevant. And for the fabric, this is fabric that has been used, put in the glue known as paver pole. So I'll probably be doing a tutorial on that later, but this is rock hard. So this character is one of my despoiled. You'll probably be seeing a lot of those characters. They're supposed to basically represent the oppressed. Okay, so to make the paver pole, I mean, sorry, snow, of course, you will need some glue. I'll be using Alma's school glue, but any sort of PVA glue will work fine. Now I'll also be using baby powder. You can use any type of flour though, like corn cornstarch, any floury substance, flour <laughs> works fine. I'm using baby powder for this tutorial. Some sort of mixing bowl. This is just an old soup mug thing. This works fine. A paintbrush. Now, for the paintbrush, you have to be prepared to either wash it straight away or to chuck it out because this will ruin your brush unless you wash it, wash it straight after you've done it. I would also go against using really weak kind of bristle brushes like this, which is the type I'm using because the bristles will probably come out in the glue and end up on your sculpture but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just doing it like that so and the most important thing that I think you will need is reference so here are some reference that I have found on snow on clothing this is just a simple google search as you can see how snow falls on the ground how snow goes on clothing and how snow falls on clothing once again and when the figure is laying down which is obviously most appropriate for this tutorial okay so first of all you have to mix the glue and the baby powder in a bowl now you can use it in any ratio you want, but I find the best ratio is more baby powder to glue. It gets really thick and as you can see, quite snow-like. So I'll be coating the base with this and we will see, I will see you again once I've coated the base. So see you soon. As you can see, I have done a small section of the base, and what you must do after you've applied it, it's a good idea to dab it slightly to avoid any lumps that might appear, and try to keep it looking sort of random. See, this is looking a bit more like icing than snow at the moment, but make sure that you keep dabbing it and spreading it because this. As you can see, this is extremely thick, so when you apply it, you have to drag it quite hard. But be sure to keep dabbing it and spreading it and trying to keep it an even coat. Be back soon. Let's pretend we've covered the whole base because I was supposed to have done the base before I attached the figure, but it doesn't matter. So as you can see, it gets this very chalky, snowy-like effect. So now we'll start doing the figure. 
as according to the reference, we put the snow on the bits that are the highest stub or would have touched snow. So let's start. As you can see, it's very thick. It's easiest to dab down. So I'll finish doing this and I'll be back in a sec with the finished product. Okay, so now I've done the snow on his body and fabric. This was done easiest by simply tapping the brush onto the area I wanted snow. For the base, I would recommend not having corrugated cardboard as the base as it makes it a hundred times harder to get it smooth. But I guess you could also apply the snow with perhaps like a knife or a spatula, something flat. That would also work quite well. And have fun with it, I guess. Try different consistencies. Get the look you want. I also found another way, another extra added effect if you want to do it, is you get your baby powder and after you've applied the glue, the snow mixture, you just tap on a little bit of baby powder on top and then you just blend it in ever so lightly and it gets that real powdery effect. So I hope this helped you guys. It's a lot cheaper than buying the pre-made snow you can buy. I think it's a lot funner and more rewarding knowing that you completed it yourself and I hope you like this video give it a like if you did check out my DeviantArt page I'll link it in the description also from next video I'll make I will do a shout out to one of my watches on DeviantArt so if you want to have a shout out to you and your artwork on DeviantArt please just send me a watch on DeviantArt and yeah, so hope it was useful and have fun snowing things. Bye.